All right, coming your way next right here on News 8 at 6. Why am I standing here in a wetsuit inside of a shark tank? Well, it's all in honor of Shark Week. And did you know that you can see sharks in Long Island Sound? We'll explain which one's coming up. And we're going to take you to a beach that's regaining popularity among beachgoers. You're watching News 8 at 6. Well, in honor of Shark Week, we are taking the plunge mm. to get up close to that feared fish with a fin. Don't know how close you want to get. <laughs> Storm team aid meteorologist Sam Cantro spent some time at the Maritime Aquarium in Norwalk earlier today to learn a bit more about sharks. I'm meteorologist Sam Cantro, and in honor of Shark Week, we decided to head out to the Maritime Aquarium and hang out, well, inside of a shark tank. But did you know you can actually see sharks off the coast of Connecticut? Yes, you absolutely can. And not only can you see sharks, but you can see great white sharks. Now, it's all about food source, and the food source really does migrate depending on what the temperatures are. Great white sharks, they've been seen off the coast of Rhode Island, and this time of the year, you can actually see them right off the coast of Cape Cod. What are they attracted to? Well, they're attracted to seals, and that's why great white sharks tend to be near Cape Cod this time of the year. The sharks that you can see here in Connecticut, and even right near the beaches, those sharks are called dogfish sharks. They're a little bit smaller, but still four feet, that's how long that they can grow for, and those sharks are attracted to the type of fish that we typically see here during the warm weather months. The third kind of shark, and these are kind of scary ones, these are called sand tiger sharks. Those can also be seen off of the coast of Long Island. They're typically seen during the early part of the summer from June into July. Then the water temperature warms up a little bit this time of the year. You're a little bit less, less likely to see that. And then as we head towards the cooler weather season, they come back again. For more information on sharks or Shark Week, head over to our weather website, wxedge.com. I'm meteorologist Sam Cantro, standing here in a wetsuit. Back to you. Okay, I noticed the wetsuit, <laughs> but it was the sharks behind him that really got my attention.